Okay, perfect. I'm starting it now. Good. Um, so we've been talking already, but let's 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 do some introductions. Mm -hmm. um, this is Joel Altman. Maybe uh, you can introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Joel. Um, I've been living in Cambodia now for six years, running a meditation center. Uh, and I've been living the path of the Dharma now for 15 years, mm, continuously, very intensely. And it's my, yeah, my greatest joy to share it all the time. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm going to move this closer and we can... We'll just try to, try to talk louder than you normally would. Sure, I can project. I can yeah, project. projecting. Do you want me to turn the fans off? No, I think the fans will be fans fine. Fans are cool? Yeah. Okay, okay perfect. So. <coughs> perfect. Alright. Um, so. <laughs> Om Mon Muvasva Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Nevasya Dimayanyo Yona Prachodayat Om Mon Muvasva Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Nevasya Dimayanyo Yona Prachodayat Om Shanti 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 So we were just talking uh, earlier with a little bit of noise, mm. it should be alright. We were just talking about um, awakening and the side effects of awakening, I guess you could say. Mm. Um, this is something that I think causes some confusion, at, at least for me, uh, when I hear people talking about awakening. Sometimes I wonder what is the core of the awakening and what is the side effect. And um, when you were just talking, mm. you were talking about, um, you know, it's not, it's not about a peak experience, it's about everyday living. Mm. And, you know, can you elaborate on that and, and you know, what, it, ta what is the core of awakening and what are the side effects? I think that the, the core of the awakening has to do with the integration or the calibration of one of the self, of the instrument and the different layers or aspects of oneself uh, in harmony, in perfect harmony and balance. Um, which brings about that again, there's, uh, it's, which brings about the dissolving of the individuality of the illusion of separation. It's essentially replacing the ignorance of the center with the truth, avidya and vidya. And, but this is a process of tuning. It's not like you take an instrument and you snap it into tune in one second. At times, if the conditions are right, then some, and then and, and, uh, this is skillful tuner, then it's possible. But usually it's a process of uh, calibrating a fine tuning that goes on uh, for lifetimes really, but even for um, over periods of time of intense uh, fluctuation until it is stabilizing. So this, this uh, coming into harmony is the awakening and the, the same way that the, the tree is in a harmony, I mean the river is in harmony, I mean it's a very much coming back to this natural harmony and flow and this spontaneous creativity that we see expressed so gracefully and, and naturally through the human uh, instrument. So the everything is is just the side effects. That which it is is nothing that can be seen. Again, where where it's not the, in within the realm of kn knowing or explanation or language or duality. So all the all the stages and all the fluctuations and the stabilization and all of this 
is uh, within the realm of the side effects. Because it's still focusing on the localization of an individual within space and time and on the dynamics of comparison and the causation and uh, anything that we try to explain or examine is going to be limited by these considerations. So especially if we want to try to approach the awakening in that way, or the undoing, or, or the undoing of the concepts, and uh, then at best we can use these kind of koans or paradoxes or um, symbols. But when it comes to everyday experience, like how can we verify in someone or how do we know for ourselves, this is a big thing that many people are practicing. And rightfully so, like yearning for realization or, or we need that drive and that, but at the same time, we can't have a greedy practice where we're like waiting and checking for it and like expecting it and like this is because it's not in that way. The practice has to come get to the point where it's just it happens for itself of itself by itself with no expectation otherwise it's building up the I it's reinforcing the individuality instead of uh, loosening the I not so this is really the key is is our practice our awakening and our understanding of our practice and our awakening strengthening the I or is it weakening the I so I prefer to work with it in a more practical way in terms of self-awareness and self-observation because throughout the path and throughout the awakening we're going to go through so many different fluctuations of experience. I mean at first usually it's more destabilizing in the life, in the relationships, in the mind, in the body. You know my experience is that despite the fact that it allows to, to attain to higher subtle states of consciousness and access more information and power and many things but at first it's such a it's like plugging a 120 volt thing into something that's 220 volts and that charge is incredibly destabilizing but even the practice leading up to that is usually is usually uh quite unpleasant and intense and full of suffering anyway so it's very tricky we really have to trick people in because the way of getting to that point is difficult and then once you get there it's even more difficult so I think that there's a, a too much importance given in general to oneself and one's experience the details of the experience and wanting to make a story about it we want to something to keep or to show someone or to have someone and it's still it's very forms of subtle attachment to the to the limited self yeah. to the small eye so in many ways and this is part of the practice until the practice ripens in many ways at the same time we're practicing and we're uh we're expressing this attachment to self and reinforcing that until a certain time where eventually that it all falls away mm -hmm. so it's not possible to skip that either these are all there are many stages in the in the maturing or the ripening of the dharma of the one's re relationship with the self hmm. so would you say that um awakening or um you know that that realization is um something that happens in stages or is there some final point where you can call that awakening yeah, again, I like to think of the awakening like Chogyam Trungpa said, basic sanity. Mm -hmm. Right now we're in a case where everyone's essentially a schizophrenic, neurotic, uh, and totally out of control. But we take that as acceptable, socially acceptable. So the realization is not becoming a superhuman. The realization is just becoming total ordinary being. Right. So, so um, instead of looking at it as a mountain, you know, as mm -hmm. we were paths of the mountains. Yes. Um, if we look, look at it as shedding uh, those uh, conditionings and yes. things and getting back to basic sanity like the trees, as you were saying, yes. just just being and um, being in resonance with yourself. Mm. 
the self is, as as the limit as the individual and the wholeness. It's the the yoga is the that connection, the bridge. Same with religion, the religare is the connection between the self and the wholeness. So it's 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 using those bridges and then creating it so where we can simultaneously be because at first again we'll have to negate the self i am not the body i'm not i'm not the mind we have to go through this process in order of uh coming back into wholeness within ourselves but then we have to then be able to simultaneously experience the transcendental the universal and the individual levels of awareness but during the training process then again it's like training for a sport sometimes they're training their on the power sometimes they're training on consistency sometimes they're training on accuracy so in this way the sadhana is very dynamic it's many everything is being developed and working together the whole time which is why the peak experience is not the guide to to determine the 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 health of our sadhana or the health of our path or our being it, it's it has to come from the whole Mm. the whole uh, life. Mm. Can we pause just one second? Yeah. He's just coming.